you good? That's what I like to hear. Happy Sunday and welcome to another episode of Sims 4 Journey to Redemption. You guys are probably looking at this house like, Papa, who live here? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. This is actually um, the Champion Estate. You guys got a good gander at one of the people that happens to live here, which is Nico Champion. He is the son of Melisandre, or Melisande and Mason Champion. Is that a vampire? Is that? Ma'am, excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. We don't do vampires in the household. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Lady. We don't do vampires. We turn out you're not welcome in our house. <laughs> okay, so instead of me being petty about visitors, let's go check out the family and you can meet everybody. All right, so you've already met Nico. Um, let's bring up the walls a little bit. You've already met Nico. Um, you saw a little snippet of his um, day in the life, of, not day in the life of school, but you you kind of got an idea as to far as to far as to what is going on in Nico's life at the moment? He is struggling in school and his parents are very happy with that, which is fine because that is normal for Nico. Nico is constantly a disappointment to his father, at least. Um, on a, the, on, well, he's a disappointment to his mother. He's also a disappointment to his father, but, but for very different reasons. Um, Mason Champion is a chief of staff, is the chief of staff at Willow Creek Hospital. Um, and he also um, he also is on call for the hospital in Windenburg. So he, of course, wants his son to follow in his footsteps. But where is everybody? Okay, my son went to bed. Okay, that's fine. He wants his son to follow in his footsteps, but Nico is does not have a knack. Well, it's not that he doesn't have a knack for the sciences, but he would rather play basketball at the moment. But Nico secretly has um, a want for something on the more creative side, which we'll get to, which we'll find out later on. But I'm gonna have him talk to his dad a little bit you know, just tell him about his day and let him know that, you know, hey, I'm already signed up for that tutoring class that coach um, <clears throat> has uh, made it mandatory. So I start tomorrow or yeah, and I, I'll be going after practice. So he's letting me know that I'll be spending even longer hours at school. He already has a pretty hectic schedule because he does play ball. Uh, he plays basketball. Um, he is a Windenburg Wildcat. And, um, yeah, so his schedule is pretty hectic. And on top of now, on top of that, he's going to be spending time in the library, um, studying or at least trying to get his senior paper done. All right. So a little more about Mason. Mason comes from a very wealthy family. The champions are well known in the community. Um, they are wealthy and, um, he, 
is he made his own money however he's not dependent on his parents who don't really come around uh, they would rather be more um, hands off with their family with their kids well he's actually the only child um, and Mason um, he's hard on his son and sadly a lot well I shouldn't say sadly a lot of fathers are hard on their sons because they want to see their son succeed because they know that they're the ones that pass on the last name and the you know the legacy most of the time of the family so he he wants his son to follow in his footsteps become a doctor just as he does or just as he is um and continue to um add to the wealth of the family um financially and um uh, career wise but again that is not that is not Nico's forte. He is not, that is not his forte. Now, as far as like how he disappoints his mother, who is asleep, um, she had a long day, hard day being a housewife. <laughs> she has no children to raise at the moment. Um, so most of her time is spent, um, at home ordering the butler around and, you know, doing very socialite things. She is a well-known socialite. Um, around town but she would like to have more children she realizes that the life of a doctor's wife does come with some uh, sacrifices and that happens to be the um, one of them in her case happens to be that uh, Mason does not want any more children now as why Nico is a disappoint, disappoint, disappointment disappointment to his mother is because she wanted a little girl she was desperate to have a little girl when she found out that she was pregnant with Nico she was ecstatic and I'll show you something it's probably going to be a little weird but to Melisande it it's not she wanted a little girl so bad that when she found out she was pregnant with Nico she had the baby room already set up for a little girl this isn't necessarily a baby room now. She does have the remnants of um, what could have been a baby room with a little stuffed bunny in the corner and a bear um, and little shoes and things like that, little girly things. This actually became a, um, a yoga studio for her and a bed where she sleeps sometimes when she's not happy with Mason. So, um, but yeah. So she was a little disappointed that Nico was not a girl. And um, so she she loves her son, don't get me wrong, but it's not, she, she would have loved him even more if he was uh, a Nikki <laughs> instead of a Nico. All uh, right, so that's a little background on the champion family. All right, so we're going to have it's getting late. Actually, it's Wednesday at one o'clock in the morning. Nico has not even finished his homework and he's already behind in school. So I'm, but I'm going to have him head to bed and um, we will pick up in the morning. All right, it is the next morning. Actually, it's only a few hours later, but I decided to wake Nico up fairly early so he can get his homework done. He's had plenty of sleep. So yeah, we're gonna get him uh, going with his homework. I'm gonna, he's eating some breakfast with his mom. Um, okay, oh, okay, he's gonna do his homework right there on the floor. I was kinda hoping he'd go back in the office and do it, but you know what? If you're comfortable, I'm fine with it. So yeah, oh, he's got some pictures. In, oh yeah, he's got some pictures in his inventory. You know what, let's go to his room and Let's put these on the wall. These are pictures of his his girlfriend. And you will get to meet his girlfriend soon enough. Her name is Tempest Brody. And I'm just gonna throw these up here for now. Can I can I even get these to go up there? Okay, we're gonna go into build mode. But first, throw these in here. First, I want to add a frame. I wish we could change the frame color. Um, let's see, yeah. Go here. 
and here, yeah. All right, Tempest is the love of his life right now. Well, as much as teenagers can be in love, uh, she is the hottest girl in school, so, and he is the most popular guy in school, so you know how that whole cliche goes. I guess he's going to go use the restroom in his parents' room. Fine. I always did that when I was a kid, go use the restroom in my parents' bathroom. I don't know why. They didn't like it because they were like, we got two other bathrooms in this house. You choose to use ours? <laughs> yes. Because it's, I don't know. I don't know why, but okay. So um, apparently Nico feels the way I felt about going to my parents' bathroom. All right. So we're going to um, get him ready for school. Did he finish his homework? No. This is why he's failing class. He's got class in two hours. So we need him to do that. Get that done. Come on, boy. Hurry up. <laughs> Are we going to follow him over here where he should have been doing his homework? Oh, he's got, oh, I bet you this is other homework he was supposed to do. This is why, again, why he's behind. He's got all this extra homework. All right. So, all right, we're going to get him. Is this done? Oh, okay, so this was just an extra book. Never mind. Sorry about that. My bad. All right, so I am going to have him take a shower. This is the wrong floor. Actually, he could probably, is there a shower? I think there's a shower. Yeah, he's got time, right? He's got, he's got 26 minutes to hop in the shower. Take a brisk shower. I'm sure he's going to head off to school. Get off your phone. He's probably texting on Tempest to see what she's wearing. They sometimes like to coordinate their outfits. You know, that's what high school couples do. That's what they did in my school anyways. You can tell who's dating. You can tell who's dating just by the, the way they dressed. Because, I mean, if he was wearing blue, she was wearing blue. It was, yeah. That I know it's probably silly. Um, or they'd have matching shirts. I mean, actually, people do that now. They have, like, king and queen. Whatever. Uh, yeah. So we're going to get him ready for school. And then um, I have to find Mason because I think he gets ready to go to work. Oh, he's got two days off. Cool. All right. So you know what? Since he's got two days off, I'm going to have him. Um, I'm going to have him. Uh, well, she's still in her pajamas. She's been in her pajamas for the longest. I'm going to have her get up and see if she can get him to go out, go out somewhere because, you know, he, it's rare that he has two days straight off because he is a doctor and he's so busy. Um, he's so sought after and they never get to spend time together. So let's, let's have her, uh, see if she can get him to go out to eat. I mean, how, what is her? Is she hungry? She's not really hungry, but I think she'll eat just to get him to, um, and you know, she's going to let him know that, you know, it's been a while since we've actually done anything together and you have this time off. Let's, let's go out to eat. Maybe she can give him a kiss to, uh, butter him up a little bit. Oh, okay. He liked it, but she didn't. Well, that's never good. All right, so. Okay, well, maybe that, that one was a little bit better. All right, so let's see if we can get them to go out. How do you ask them out on a date? I don't remember. That is so sad. Okay, so we're not getting, trying to, okay, there we go. Ask on a date. So do, would you like to go out to eat for breakfast? You know, we haven't done that in a while. He's down. Neither one of them had have had a shower. Just we're just gonna go. All right. So let's see. We are going to head over to. There's a place that I would love to try out. It is in uh, Newcrest. So we're gonna head over here. This is called the Green Bar Greenhouse Cafe. It's a, no, it's a bar. Is it a? It's a bar. Okay. So never mind. Let's go here. This doesn't really sell, serve breakfast, but we're going to go here anyway. All right. Welcome to Industrial Day Cafe. This is a, a, um, a seafood place. 
I mean, seafood isn't exactly breakfast food, well, at least to me. Although in some areas, it is. Um, and to people like my grandfather, God rest his soul, fish is, well, no, I take that back. In my family, cold catfish is the best breakfast in the world. We're going to have them get a seat. I love this little cozy place. I think, I don't know, should we go upstairs? No, it's raining. Why is it always raining in my game? You guys ever notice that? It's always raining in my game. All right. Where'd they go? Oh, they're in here already. Well, she's dressed really nice. And where's he at? Okay. Oh, they look like young yuppies. <laughs> I mean, they are young and they are rich. So, yeah. All right. So, they've got their seats. Are they going to get a seat? Restaurants are so glitchy. Oh, I guess they're waiting for their table. Are they waiting? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm actually going to do the goals. I normally ignore the dating goals. Um, when it, when they're already married, I don't really care about that, but, um, is she going to sit down? Is she going to sit down? Okay. I guess he's like, let me stand up and let you sit first or he's going to go to the restroom. I'm going to have her order for the table. She already knows what her husband likes. So let's see. Um, she is going to, it's a little early for uh, alcohol. I'm sorry, juices and berries. <laughs> um, I think she will have some Earl Grey, which if you guys have ever had Earl Grey, I do not like. It is not my cup of tea. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what. That was an accidental pun, and I don't even know why that was funny to me, but it was. <laughs> I'm gonna have him, I'm gonna order a cup of coffee for him. Um and then tea for her. All right, so let's see. Ah, uh, okay. What is breakfasty? There's really nothing here that would be good at ten o'clock in the morning. Well, at least traditional wise, you know what? But they're rich. You know, rich people can do what they want. So he will. She will have that uh, lobster thermidor. I think, did I have? Yeah, they'll both have it. Why not? Why not? We're rich. Oh. <laughs> we eat lobster for breakfast. Let's hope that the um, mm, the server doesn't drop our food because that happens quite a bit. I, I watched Keo Sims uh, Let's Play last night or this morning. And her, uh, no, it was the, was it this one? last one it was the one before and literally the server dropped the food three times i think it was like three times before they actually got their food and by that time it was like late at night i'd have been mad if that had happened in real life i'd have been so upset all right so they're here together um it's kind of awkward they're not really talking to each other you know what? and the thing is they've forgotten how to talk to each other. They don't see each other enough. Um, and so she's kind of staring into space and he's probably thinking about what's going on at the hospital. So I'm just gonna try to make her make small talk with him um, just because, you know, they're sitting there next to each other. And I mean, it, you know, let's have her ask about his day. She's like, you know, how's your day going? I, we haven't even gotten the chance to um, say good morning, really. And okay, she went right into the fact that, yeah, she's upset that she doesn't get to see him anymore because he's chief of staff now. And, you know, their social life is non-existent. You know, she she is a, so, a social light and she goes to a lot of functions um, that have to do with charities or just balls in general for entertainment. And she goes by herself a lot. Um, 
So I think she's it was a little angry, you know. She got a little emotional there for a moment, but it looks like she calmed down. So let's see. Maybe I'll have her flirt a little bit. Um, see if he'll respond. I mean, they do love each other, and they're really good friends. They're still soulmates, and he still loves her. So this is a good thing. All right. He's talking about the rain. I know it rains in this town constantly. I, I feel like we live in Oregon or something. Um, all right, so let's make her let's tell a funny story. Talk about Nico's dilemma at school because even though, oh, he brought the food and on time it didn't drop. This is amazing. This is a Kodak moment. This is a Kodak moment. Okay. So let's eat up, guys. Eat. Enjoy your food. She's not really hungry, but she's going to eat. And he is famished. So, are they in love with the food or in love with each other? She was angry for some reason. I don't know what it is that's making her, um, whatever she's disliking. Maybe it's his. Maybe that she. It's the knowledge that he's not fully there with her. Um, again, the air is kind of, not tense, but it's strained. It's almost like they've, um, just met. You know how it is when you first go on a date, you really don't know what to say to each other? Or maybe you do. No. I mean, I guess it would depend. It's that awkward date where you don't know what to say to each other. And I think that's where they're at. Uh, wow. He came and got, I mean, they did finish up pretty quick. What did he pick up from her? Oh, he picked up his coffee cup. All right, so he ate that pretty quickly. I guess he's ready to go. And he's a doctor, so, um, you know, he's used to eating fairly quickly. And I guess she's like, you know what, I'll just finish mine, and I guess we'll just go home. All right, so he's blushing. I mean, she's blushing, too. Okay. Maybe she's like if he's in a flirty mood, she really wants to have another child and she's still young enough to do to do so So I mean he's in a flirty mood. She's in a flirty mood. They're both Obviously blushing. Maybe she can get him to go home and uh, Oh Okay, almost time This is part of the mod that I use. Um, I can't remember the name of the mod, but it's by Kawaii Stacy and uh, I guess she's, I guess she's ovulating. So maybe it's a perfect time for her to go home and get him to uh, <clears throat> do the do. So let's go pay for dinner or breakfast. You know, it's raining. It's the afternoon. He's off. She doesn't have anything to do. So I was going to work on the, so the goals for the date, but... Uh, yeah, that just went straight out the window. It was a bad date. <laughs> That's okay. It's going to end on a good note. At least we hope it will. So we'll see if they can. Uh, she can get him to go home. Oh, I can't. That's right. Oh, I can end the date. I'm going to end the date early. We're just going to do that. And they're going to go home. So head on out. And we got another MCC. I think I keep getting those errors. And I think I, because I installed the UI cheat. And we're home. And where's my son? Oh, she's already in the house. He's feeling awfully flirty, and you know, but he's standing out here thinking like, I really want to do this. You know, we're both in a really good mood and uh, we need some quality time. But I think he, uh, uh, I, you know, he wants to uh, give her the quality time, but, oh, okay. You know, but I think he knows what she's up to. He's not really keen, uh, you know, yep, see, he's not really happy about, um, he wants to have some quality time, but he, he knows. 
that she wants to have more kids. Nico's home already. What's going on with Nico? He's mortified. Stop looking at me. Sometimes it feels like you can't do anything right and everyone is judging you. What happened up here? Um, okay, I have meaningful stories. Uh, okay, so Nico's in a bad mood because, uh, because her discomfort has combined with their negative thoughts to become stronger than their positive thoughts. Um, if Nico solves the source of the, their discomfort, that may help them get back into a positive mood. I'm not even sure what's going on with Nico. I mean, I know he's mortified that he has to have um, tutoring after school, and that could be probably why, because um, he's got to go sit with the nerds. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, so let's, um, goodness, boys, it's, it's not that serious. It's really not. You should have been doing your homework. He is red in the face. Oh, my goodness. You know, maybe he can, um, Maybe he can confess his sins to his dad. I don't know. What is, yeah, let's just share our insecurities with our dad and see what is, uh, see if that helps. I mean, talking to people anytime about what's going on in your life does help. Sometimes talking to strangers versus family members because family members, um, you know, sometimes they're too close to the problem, but this might help because, um, No, his father really isn't that understanding. And uh, he's more uh, worried about what's going on with his mother. All right, so Nico's going to have to excuse himself and go do his homework since he's got to get a paper done. And um, we're going to have his parents take care of their quality time. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to have them for a little bit more before I uh, have them do the do, which is woohoo. Right, maybe I'll get, have her give him a passionate kiss. What in the, <laughs> this is what happens when you have the pose pack installed. That was so awkward, but you know, it probably works for them because he doesn't see her very often and she doesn't see him very often. Uh, come on back over here and do it right, girl. Um, oh, you know, maybe, no, come over here and do it right because that was awful. Let's try to seduce him. We have food still sitting here. Where's the, where is the butler? I think the butler quit on us. I think we lost our butler, guys. I'm forever losing things in the game. First the dog, now the butler. All right, she still got moves. He's like, yeah, let's let's go. Let's. <laughs> He's talking about the dresser. That means let's head to the bedroom. All right, so um, I don't know if I want them to try for a baby. I think I have um. I think I have um, Risky Woohoo. Is that part of the MCC command center or whatever? I It might be. I don't know. But anyways, y'all don't need to see that. Y'all need to see this. We're going to uh, go ahead and uh, hang out with Mason, pick himself up, up off the floor because he is having a terrible day. Let me see what is. Needs amusement. Is that what it is? Maybe that's what it is. He needs some kind of amusement. All right, so let's have him finish up his homework really quick. Oh, there's the butler. I thought I lost the butler. Guess not, but he looks like he's on his way. What is going on with Tim? Oh, he's sick. Oh, great. Um, Actually, Mason has some medication in his inventory. Can we make the butler take the medicine? No, guess not. Okay, they went to sleep. That must have been pretty good. <laughs> can, can, will the butler take the medicine? Can we make him go to... 
Okay, well, no, I guess not. Well, he's going to be sick. I have no idea. I hope the butler doesn't die. I don't know what's going on with him, but he has the cooties, and uh, we don't want to catch that. So, Nico, you need to go ahead and finish your homework. And um, I think maybe he can uh, text his girlfriend. So I will have him text Tempest. See if she wants to hang out. Where is that? What is? I don't know what. Okay, let's send a text to Tempest. His girl. After you know, after he does his homework, it's done, dude. All right. Usually, when I send a text, somebody will text back, and maybe uh, it'll trigger um, a date. Cause I don't really want him to ask her out on a date yet. Um, good lord. Oh, okay. Well, no. What am I doing? Okay. I was so nosy trying to see what was going on over here. I pushed the wrong button. All right, so he texts Tempest. And he's just not in a good mood. He he really needs to get out of this mood. I don't know what's going on with him. I think something is, I think it's just entertainment. So I'm going to have him watch some TV. Maybe he'll play, you know what? I'll have him play a video game or something. See if that'll help. Um, and... Uh, Mom, uh, <laughs> Melisande, draw. We need you to, uh, put some clothes on, girl. You probably should change that to a robe, because that is not appropriate, walking around the house with your kid, especially your teenage boy. Um, she's like, you know what? That was amazing. We should do this more often. He's got two days off. They've got plenty of time to get to know one another again. And he's feeling awfully good about himself mm-hmm really good about himself and uh you know oh no wait he's got he's got to work and the, well no he's got time what time is it you know he's got to work the next day so no he won't have time to hang out again so this was the one and only time that they had together which is fine she she'll take it where she can where she can get it all right so his Fun is better, but he's gonna use the bathroom, so let us um, get him situated. All right, so let's get him off of there, have him come upstairs and use the bathroom, and then I will send him to bed. He hasn't even eaten yet, but he will feel better in the morning. He can eat when he gets up. And um, I'll be honest with you, the di family dynamic in this household, most of the time, um, everyone is doing their own thing. Mason, he's constantly working. So this is, you know, rare where he's actually, they're all, all at home at the same time. Um, Melisande, she's, you know, always doing things outside of the house as well. Usually it's, you know, like I said, charity work or um, just going to functions. And then Nico, he tends to try to stay away from the house as much as possible. And, you know, basketball kind of keeps him, uh, or sports in general, keep him out of the house. And then, you know, um, hanging out with his boys, which he does quite a bit. But he's got to keep... Um, close to home right now because he's skating on thin ice with his grades being so low at least in his English class and he's got to get that homework done otherwise if he doesn't get his senior paper done he won't graduate on time so um, that is like one of his biggest grades and if he fails English he will not uh, get to go to college not that he really wants to go to college he just doesn't he has other dreams he does not want to go to college. Um, he wants to um, pursue his dreams, which would not include higher education. Um, and he hasn't told his parents yet that he doesn't plan on going to school or further his education after uh, high school. But uh, he doesn't plan on telling them either. 
because they know he knows that they'll cut him off and he will probably need their help financially for at least for a while um at least that's his plans anyway so we'll see how that goes all right so this is um this is a a quick gander into the champion family i do hope you enjoyed this episode of journey to redemption we'll definitely get to um, know more about nico and his family dynamics and probably uh, meet some more of his friends as we continue on i hope you enjoyed this episode if you have not subscribed yet go ahead and smash the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you know when i upload again i thank you for joining me i will talk to you later bye bye Nico, champion, just rolled in into the wrong door. This is what happens when you try to be creative and make um, garage doors that kind of actually look like garage doors. Are we rolling up on somebody's house um, that we've never met? Uh, 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 camera angle. 